Hey guys, Doc Yeski here, and today I'm bringing you guys a haul. Uh, this is a Hobby Lobby haul on uh, some diecast I picked up at Hobby Lobby today. I've got some green light diecast, I've got some M2 machines, some uh, Maisto, you know, designs, uh, you know, diecast, uh, so a model kit, as you can see there, a display case, and some doorknobs. Uh, so I'm very excited to show you guys. I hope you enjoy this video. Uh, so please stick around to the, through the whole video. Uh, it's going to be a great video. And I'd love it if you stuck around, the, uh, you know, through the whole video. But anyway, guys, uh, that's going to wrap up this intro. So I hope you guys are excited about uh, the video. Uh, so let's get on to our first So here cast. it is, guys, our first diecast. This is a 1957 Chevrolet Bel Air. Uh, this is the Harley Davidson, uh, I guess, uh, car. Uh, as you can see, there's a Harley, da Harley Davidson logo there on the door. And uh, that is on both sides. Um, and uh, actually... This was the only one left at Hobby Lobby, and uh, if you guys watched my previous video on my uh, diecast review on a Maisto, uh, yeah, Maisto's um, 1957 Chevrolet Bel Air with the Alameda trailer, uh, you guys will probably hear me talk about how much I love Chevrolet Bel Airs, and I really do. I just love how they look, and uh, they're just my favorite car. I'd love to own one one day. Uh, they're just awesome cars, and uh, my dad actually loves Harley Davidsons, uh, so. I was like, here's a my favorite car, uh, you know, there is, and, you know, it's got Harley Davidson on, uh, you know, the logo on it, and my dad loves Harley Davidson, so it's like a kind of cool uh, thing, because I love Chevrolet Bill Ayers, my dad loves, you know, Harley Davidson, so I was like, I'm going to get this, because it's a cool paint scheme overall, it's a nice looking die cast, my favorite, uh, you know, my dad's favorite, uh, you know, motorcycle company, and uh, I just thought it was a really cool uh, thing. Uh, so I decided to pick it up, and I'm really glad I did because I really do like this uh, nice car. But uh, yeah, guys, I think that's gonna wrap it up there for that car, uh, for this car, I guess. But uh, yeah, very nice. Uh, I really do uh, like it, and uh, I will do diecast review on it actually if you guys want me to. So make sure you guys tell me in the comments. Uh, but yeah, so let's move on to our second diecast, our second item here uh, from Hobby Lobby. Uh, so here's our second diecast. It's a 19, uh, yeah, 1967 Ford Custom. Uh, this is the Hot Pursuit series. Uh, so right there, Hot Pursuit, Serve and Protect. Uh, it was by Greenlight Collectibles. So it's very nice. And this is the Phoenix Police, the Phoenix, Arizona Police. So very nice. I really do like this car. It's got a big, big light bar, which I think gives it a unique uh, look. And I just think it's overall cool. Uh, you've got a nice, you know, like paint scheme here with white and some tan, uh, kind of yellowish. Uh, I don't really know what the color that is called, but uh, very nice paint scheme overall. Uh, I really do like it. Uh, this is actually, I got two green lights uh, at Hobby Lobby. This one and a uh, Chevrolet van, which you guys will see here in a minute. And uh, these are actually my first green lights. I've never had green lights before. I've been looking into buying actually some Hot Pursuits uh, because they have a lot of cool cars and, you know, like old cars, which I, I love more than new cars. Uh, and I've been looking into buying green lights, but came across uh, these die casts and stuff uh, today and uh, decided to get them. But uh, yeah, guys, uh, I think that's going to wrap it up there for this uh, nice looking uh, police car. Uh, there's a look at the packaging. Uh, Greenlight does actually a really good job on their packaging. Uh, it's very detailed and very nice, but uh, there's some uh, uh, other cars for the Hot Pursuit series um, and everything. But uh, yeah, that's going to wrap it up there for this car. Very nice and car in my opinion. I really do like it. Uh, I'm actually going to get some more Hot Pursuits, I think, uh, from the, I guess, the older cars. Because there's a Chevrolet, uh, Chevrolet car that I want. I think it's like 60s maybe. And I really do want that one. But... Um, yeah, guys, uh, here's our, I guess, third item. This is a 1970 Dodge Super B. Uh, this is the Goodyear, I guess, uh, car. And uh, it just looks really nice. Uh, you know, you've got some yellow in there, some, you know, like, uh, I guess, dark blue. I guess it maybe, I guess that's navy blue. Uh, so I thought it was a pretty cool car. Uh, I think Dodge Super Bs look very nice. I think they, uh, they remind me a lot of the uh, General Lee, uh, the 69 Dodge Charger. Uh, and... I just like Dodges. I think, uh, especially the old, all old Dodges, like the 69, 68, and 70. 
Um, I just think they look pretty cool and everything. But uh, this is a really cool car because as you can see, you can change your tires, which I'm probably going to change mine to these because I love those hubcaps. I think they're really nice. But um, yeah, they're very nice looking car. Uh, you know, good year and everything. I guess that's the sponsor there uh, for this car. So very nice. You know, you can change your tires uh, and uh, everything. But uh, yeah, very nice looking car. Uh, I'm gonna pick this one up. Uh, actually, this was like actually a pretty much uh, last minute pickup because I wasn't planning on getting it. And uh, same thing for the van, which you guys will see here in a minute. Uh, that was actually a last minute pickup. Uh, I saw them. I was like, I think I'm gonna get those because they're just really cool. Uh, but yeah, this is an M2 machine uh, car, so that's very nice. And uh, M2 machines actually make some pretty cool boxes, as you can see. But uh, yeah, guys, that's gonna wrap it up there for that. Uh, very nice looking car. Uh, and make sure you guys tell me in the comments, please, uh, what car you want to see a diecast review on. Just feel free, you know, um, because you guys are the one who watches, you know, watch my videos and, uh, you guys take time out of your day to watch my videos. So, whatever, you know, diecast you want to watch, tell me in the comments and I will make a video on it. So, anyway guys, uh, here's our fourth, uh, car here. This is a 1957 Chevrolet Bel Air. Uh, this is a Maestro Designs uh, car. Uh, I guess maybe part of their muscle series because uh, it says muscle there. So they might uh, have a few others, uh, but I'm not sure on that. But yeah, guys, here it is. Uh, 1957 Chevrolet Bel Air with a actually a pretty nice looking paint scheme, uh, which I really do like um, and everything. But uh, yeah, very nice looking car. Uh, I will do definitely, definitely do a video on this, guys, um, because this thing is really, really awesome, and I, I can't wait to make a video on this. But um, yeah, guys, uh, I think that's gonna wrap up there for that. Uh, you guys uh, are probably gonna see uh, this is like the second Chevrolet Bel Air uh, in this video, and there's another one uh, which is the model kit. Um, but uh, like I said, if you guys watch my um, uh, what's it called, my diecast review on my. Uh, uh, what's it called? 1957 Chevrolet Bel Air with the Alameda trailer. You, uh, you guys will probably figure out I like Chevrolet Bel Airs a lot, especially the 57 one. Uh, I collect a lot of them and everything. But, um, yeah, guys, uh, here's our fourth car. Uh, or no, actually our fifth car. Uh, this is the 1976 Chev yeah, Chevrolet uh, G20. Uh, this is the van I was talking about. And this is also a green light and uh, actually a pretty cool box. Uh, this is, I guess, part of their uh, Country Road series. Um, so they made, they've made a few others. Uh, I think it gives the list back here. Yeah, um, but uh, yeah, very nice looking car. Or I guess van. Uh, I really do like this uh, van. I think it's got a cool paint scheme and everything. And like I was saying, this is last minute, minute pickup because uh, I happened to see it and I saw that uh, you know Dodge Super B and I was like, these are some pretty cool cars. I think I'll get them because I was just going through. Uh, the uh, you know like cars once again just to make sure I got you know the ones I wanted and I saw these and I was like ah I really you know really want this one I just think it was cool and everything but uh, yeah guys that's gonna wrap it up there for that one I really do like this uh, van I think it's pretty cool and everything but um, yeah uh, there's the list if you guys want to see you know, like the whole list or whatever uh, so yeah, guys, very, very nice. Uh, that's going to wrap it up for that one. If you guys want to see a diecast review on that, tell me in the comments. But, um, yeah. So, uh, guys, uh, we are going to take a look at our, what, six car, I think. Um, so, uh, yeah. So, anyway, guys, here's our six car. This is a, another M2 Machines product. Uh, this is their model kits, which I, I saw online where M2, M2 machines made model kits, but I was like, I'm not really sure. Like I haven't seen, I hadn't seen them before, uh, but I actually got one of the 164 scale, uh, model kits. It was actually a, a, a C, I think a 56, uh, Ford, uh, F100. Uh, and that was really fun to put together. So I got another one and uh, you know, my favorite car. A Chevrolet Bel Air, 57 Chevrolet Bel, Bel Air to be exact. Um, and uh, I enjoyed so much building the last model kit I had. I had 164, so I decided to get a 124 one. Uh, so I'm pretty sure I'll have a lot of fun building this. And uh, I'm very excited uh, to build it because I can't wait. But um, yeah, guys, here it is. Very nice looking car. I love the uh, paint scheme for this uh, Chevrolet Bel Air. I think it's very nice. It pops because uh, they had a... Uh, 
they had a black and red one. Uh, the like car, the, the actual like body was black, and then this right here with it's black on this car uh, was red. Uh, and uh, yeah, so I, I I got this one because I felt like it was gonna pop, and it, you guys will see uh, my uh, case uh, that I'll show you guys here in a minute that I'm gonna put this in when it's done. You know, after I finish building it, and I just felt like this would pop more in that case than the black car would but yeah guys here it is uh very nice looking car uh, you got all your rims down here uh, that you can choose from you get your two engines uh, you can have like the i guess open hood uh there with the engine sticking out or you can have the you know hood covered there uh see as you can see there's a hole there in the hood uh for your engine but uh yeah very nice looking car and it seems like it's going to be pretty easy to put together. It says no glue, no paint, uh, which is great. So, uh, yeah, uh, I really do like these because I think they're pretty easy to put together. Uh, just because you don't have to, like, models take a long time. And uh, I, I, ha I don't, I, I, I've done one model. I didn't finish the whole thing because uh, me and mom and dad were working on them and we just never got time. Uh, to really complete it. Um, I'll probably complete it one day, um, but uh, I have a lot of models that I haven't done yet, so I'm just probably gonna end up buying the pre-finished like finish one with that, that you can just screw together and don't have to paint. Just because I've seen, I feel like they're a lot funner um, to me. Uh, but um, yeah. But anyway guys, uh, our final thing today is the case, the display case, uh, which in my opinion is actually a very cool thing uh, because you get this display case with the mirror or even a checkered board uh, bottom and actually got the mirror because they didn't have any checkerboard bottom uh, bottoms there but uh, uh, I was fine with the uh, you know mirror one uh, just because you can see reflection or you know everything but um, these things right here if you guys can see here you got the you know display cases with the background so what you do you cut out these uh, which is uh, pretty cool uh, idea so you cut out these you can use you know pick whichever one you want there's three of them and you can just use it as your background i'm going to use this one personally because because it's my favorite it's got a vending machine oil cans signs i just think it's really cool and it goes along uh you know with the 50s uh and everything but um yeah guys i think that's going to wrap up this video uh i really am excited to build that model car and uh to display it in this and uh, I can't wait to make videos for you guys um, on these awesome looking cars. Um, actually, real quick, I want to show you because I actually just forgot about these. Uh, uh, these are actually a last minute thing too. These are doorknobs for uh, some doors at my room. Uh, these are just a super service Chevrolet, uh, you know, signs here, uh, which are pretty cool and everything. But uh, got two of those for my doors. Uh, like, uh, if they're not like full size doors, like door handles, they're actually just... Um, like uh, for like closet doors, which I'm not gonna use it uh, for closet doors. I actually have uh, some doors for my entertainment center that I'm gonna use them for. But um, yeah, very nice looking little door handle or I guess door knobs. I really do like these and uh, a big Chevrolet gas. So uh, they went along with uh, you know I guess my personality or whatever. But uh, yeah, guys, I really hope you guys enjoy this video. If you'd like to see more hauls uh, or videos on some of these cars, tell me in the comments. I'd love to make these for you guys and uh, really hope you guys enjoy this video. If you stay tuned for the whole thing, thank you so much. You guys are true fans. Uh, but yeah guys, if you enjoyed the video, give this video a big thumbs up. Uh, subscribe if you're new. I'd love if you did because uh, I'd love new fans becoming part of the channel. Uh, you know, it's just uh, great. And this is a really a, a family friendly channel. Uh, I try to make it, you know, for all ages. Uh, to watch but uh, yeah guys thank you for everything uh, you know thank you for 153 subscribers you guys are awesome thank you for all the uh, support on videos uh, if you guys would like to check out uh, my latest uh, diecast review on my 1957 Chevrolet Bel Air with the Alameda trailer uh, you guys uh, can click the link down in the description uh, or you can just go check out the video uh, you know find it there because uh, it would be right below this one. But I uh, hope you guys enjoyed this video. Uh, I love you guys so much. You guys are awesome. Uh, and I hope you really enjoyed this video. Uh, but yeah, tell me what uh, diecast you want to see first. Uh, and I will make that video. Uh, but yeah, guys, uh, thank you for watching this video. My upload schedule might be a little crazy. It's kind of been crazy. 
uh, and I will have that announcement out for the Q&A very soon. So, uh, sorry about my upload schedule being a little crazy and everything, but, um, yeah, so I'm gonna let you guys go. Uh, so thank you for watching the video. I'm Dikeus Geek, and I'm signing out.